Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, and thank you, Jim. The title of Project 2 is Organize Your Speech, and this is really important. Good speech organization is essential if you're going to successfully give a speech that your audience is able to follow and understand. So uh, it was a very valuable speech for me, and I really was pleased that I was able to go back to the <coughs> chapter and read more about it and observe you. I <clears throat> It says in the project's description that as a speaker, your role is to tell others about your ideas and occasionally persuade them to take some action. This isn't the persuasive speech, it's the organization speech. But what a great topic selection. They spend a lot of time in this chapter on how to select the appropriate topic and what to look for. And you picked something that was, I think, of interest to everybody in the room. And you developed the speech and gave the speech in a way that was very easy to follow, was very logical, and very interesting at all times. The opening. One of the things they ask is that you, you, you pick something to capture the audience's attention. And you selected these figures that were familiar to all of us. When, Since I was looking for your opening, when you started talking, I was listening for something like this. But for probably everyone else in the room, you start thinking there's this title, 10,000, and then there's he's talking about the Beatles. Well, what's the connection? And it sounded, um, when you talked about you know, the, how 10,000 relates to these people, it, it was surprising but then your speech really demonstrated and broke it down point by point um, how much I'm so distracted by the best I'm sorry um, you couldn't get me when I was doing it right exactly Thank you. you really spelled it out in your speech and those examples were perfect and you came back to them and you used them and I really enjoyed that additionally you had real life examples by talking about Fred and Arnie which also helped. I mean, here we're talking about something like the Beatles, which is distant, but then bringing it to the classroom level also really kept my attention and made it the example even more powerful. I thought your speech was really well written and funny. I would suggest for future speeches, though, that you drop the notes because we can, you know, we can't all write really good speeches, but. A lot of us can write really good, most people in this room can write a really good speech, but the, the idea is that we don't just read something that we wrote that's well written, we spend the time that we actually are able to deliver that speech and, and make it a speech. And so by speech three or project three, I would really give it a shot to just drop the paper, put some stuff on note cards, and practice doing that because you're really great about looking up at us and making eye contact, but it would be great to have your face the whole time. That would be wonderful. The Prodigy example, I'll just end by saying, was a great use of reproachment to make us all feel better about the hard work these so-called prodigies put into their craft. Thank you.